Miss Roland. Yes. How long have you been there? Huh? How long have you worked here? Almost five years. Five years? I think I'm working on number five. Okay. Did they have a, how do you do you know the people before that? How did you become? I did not. A friend of mine posted it on. I mean, I just knew them from 4-H and uh, stuff. But a friend of mine posted it on Facebook. I was sitting sure. there. That's fine. Where do you want to sit? Eight. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good evening everybody. We start just a little bit late, but today is Tuesday, February uh, 15th. Uh, it's 5 after 6, and we're going to start the work session. So we'll stand up, do the Pledge of Allegiance, and get the meeting started. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'd like to have a moment of silence to honor the military, firefighters, road workers, and sheriff's deputies as they serve our community here and abroad. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Tracy Edwards, can we have a roll call, please? Yes, Trustee McLaughlin. Yes, present. Trustee McGuire. Trustee McBeth. Present. Okay, so in the work session, the first thing is uh, we have on the list is open business, and uh, first thing is the conduct and policies of township meetings. We talked about this in the first meeting, and then and we didn't have a second meeting in January because I was sick. But um, and then the meeting, the first meeting in February, we got to the point where we normally do the comments by residents, and we got forgot to tell you we, we're not doing that anymore. So basically, and we'll go over this several times in several meetings. Um, we as a board can kind of do, conduct these meetings any way we want. There is a Robert's, Robert's Rules of Order. But um, we, we can, as long as we stay and doing things the same. So as long as we agree on what we're doing, and we, keep, we can't change the rules in the game. So um, that the other thing that irritated me was the fact that when we're doing a resolution, we have a resolution on the floor. We're talking about it. I don't want to have to bring up a second. I don't well, really. I don't know if I want to vote on that. I don't know if I want to put a second on it because I have some questions. So to me, are you okay with that, Sheila? We ought to be able to ask questions about the resolution before we second it today. What do you think? Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because that would mean we might be in agreement. With yeah. Okay, then uh, the next one, uh, and I said we'll discuss that several times, the use of electronic time cards. Um, I did find out that we are paying for that service, Sheila. Did you know that? We're paying for that service. We pay TrackSmart $970 a year for the scheduling and uh, the, the uh, time clock in that system. So I don't know if they offer the system without the time clock feature in there and how much less it was be. Uh, the person I talked to didn't think they did. It was, it was it's all or none. So um, I, I think just, we were looking at um, the comparing Paycor and Tracksmart. Yes. Because Paycor would give us added benefit as far as on Tracy's side. She okay. would have to enter all in, enter in certain things as opposed to Tracksmart. Even though you paid for it, she still once it got to her, she would still have to go back and redo it. So trying to um, see how what both offer, mm -hmm. and um, and then go from there. I think um, we actually have. You said this, which one was it? Just said Tracy was your track smart paycor paycor um, that we just have to kind of go in and look at and see if they offer the ability to track the fire department schedule, yes. uh, allow them to clock in and out, in addition to um, just automatically updating the system so it doesn't have the human error. 
Okay, yeah, I understand the human error. What, I would throw an idea out there, and we're just talking. Okay, so uh, I also I feel the need to have a person, back in the day it was Adrian, so TrackSmart would do it. Adrian looked at it, you, you know, we have uh, Tracy, a helper, you know, get a, a person in the office, they can do that, but I kind of see the idea of still needing a what if they're fudging, clocking in and clocking out, somebody has an ungodly amount of time? I still think, I still see the need for a human looking it over every pay period. I mean, my there comments, be, guys, please. There would be uh, somebody, they still have to, to, to approve the time sheet. Okay, the superintendent still approves the time, okay, okay. The department head, they okay. still have to go in the pay for it and approve the time sheet. To make sure that they were doing tracks more. Okay. Same as what they were doing tracks more. And if tracks more has that features, all they would have to do is compare, and you can't get rid of it. You just compare what you get out of tracks more and the pay for it. If that comes to that. Yeah, we might get to the point where we have to have each service because they both do different things that the other one doesn't do. No one of them do all of it. I think, I think pay for may, but I don't right. ask. That's what, that's what we're trying to look at to yeah. see. Okay. Compare apples to apples. Okay. You know, one might offer more, that one might not. Okay. It might be the same. Okay, and then the next one is a credit card policy, and there is a copy of that in your packet. You know, we got deemed on that. Um, the audit and been deemed a couple different times. Uh, this Edwards, isn't it supposed to be that the person who has a credit card signs out for it, and then you know who has it, and they're responsible for getting you the receipts, can't be passed around, so to speak? Well, yes. And it's supposed to be given back to me every time. I understand the inconvenience of that. Um, um, so we have to work around that aspect. So, but the receipts are definitely what the problem is with the credit card. I'm not, I'm not getting all the receipts. Like right now, for, and luckily I haven't done February yet because Mark's not here yet. I don't have all the receipts for the credit card for February. There's one receipt missing. And what department is that from? Fire. Because there's only, there's only, there's only one, there's only one an Amazon purchase, but I'm not sure, I don't know. I don't know it's the Amazon purchase of $159.99. Um, because it's on the credit card. You aware of that, Chief? Yeah, Tracy, I have talked about it. Oh, so you have the receipt or? <coughs> you okay? Oh, yeah. Too much, y'all. Mm -hmm. um, I got to get with Lisa and see exactly what it was on a particular date that was ordered by, I think, it was the EMS quote. I mean, if it's on Amazon, you should probably be able to pull the receipt off. I can't access it. Um, so somebody should be able to go in there and pull that receipt off. She can do that. Yeah. Can you get that, uh, have her do that and get that to her? To I'm sure it's 159. 99. Thank you, Chief. Well, on page two of seven in that, um, it gives the limit um, of, the tra of the credit card transaction. And in this paperwork, it, no transaction may exceed, the paper said 4,500. The one I have has 4,500 scratched out and 1,500 written in. But it's not initialized, initialized by myself included when we signed, I signed this. When, we, when the trustee signed that, that should have been initialized. So at that time this was before they told us to do the initializing. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we did this back before they taught us on the audit. So the 1500 we could if you have 4500 be a single purchase limit. That, that's what you want. That's more your credit card you have on the credit card. Each credit card. Okay. You only gave 4000 Okay. Credit card. So well, uh, I thought it was $750. To be honest with you, I thought it was $750. $750. Page two. 
That it was originally, and I went and got, did a resolution already. But it wasn't. It was before this. Okay. Resolution. It was before this resolution. So there is a resolution in there back when, when, or when this resolution came, um, we raised it up. Well, I think 750 is too low. I think there's a good writing of times where you need things over 750. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the 1500. Is she really okay with the 15? Or is that too I high? think because right now we have been a lot of issues with credit cards. Yes. That I think for now, the uh, uh, 750, and if you need more, we can talk with Tracy. But until we get a hold of these credit cards, we might need to kind of so put a cap on it. We only have one credit card right now working. And that's the fire department. Um, okay. The, the new fire department credit card we got. We closed all the other ones down right now. <coughs> so, but they have the ability to do their own Amazon and any. Yeah, uh, they have um, they have Amazon account. Okay, and then also their O'Reilly's or whatever. Yeah, all that's counter. So that that stuff that has nothing to do with credit card. Well, okay. the fifth third credit card. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this policy is not for just the fifth third credit. Card. For all our credit cards. But it's only one active now. So only, only one fifth third credit card active. So remember the policy is for all our credit. Not the just the credit cards, but all the credit cards. So I mean, like a Lowe's card right away, the Amazon card and all that, and this, 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 this pertains to all cards. It should, yeah. So you want well, I, I'm not comfortable. On our well, cards? No, 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 no <laughs> I, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'm not happy with that. So, so the thing, the thing is, is, I don't think I don't think the, those type of things apply to Lowe's cards. Though. I don't think they have a Lowe's. So we got to figure out how we do that. I don't know how that works with the Lowe's card. So I didn't set that well, account we, up. I think you're right because we've had that problem at work with Home mm -hmm. Depot. But it's probably the same thing. And uh, what they ended up doing, what they ended up doing. Separate everybody's card out. To me, I don't know, but to me, it might be a real pain. But everybody, my card with them is a separate account, and I have X amount of dollars, and everybody has a different amount. It's not grouped together like it was before. It was grouped together with an unlimited amount with a top dollar on the on the on the account, and all that's all that's been stopped. And I think that's the same. The problem with our limit is, is we got to have purchase for need to have purchase order before they can go in. They gotta have an actual purchase order. I noticed on a lot of the invoices we got this random purchase order that's six thousand and one at Lowe's. They're still using that six thousand and one at Lowe's. That's not a purchase order that we have. Correct. It's still being used. Well, there's only one card um, available. I've shut down all the cards except for Rice, Wilcox, and Hollis. Those are the only ones that have all the cards. Okay. Okay. So, that, so we have the Lowe's card and we have a John Deere card. What other cards do we have? So we don't have a card of John Deere, it's another counter account. I don't know who set that up either. That wasn't well, involved. Well, we have to pay for it. Right. Yeah, I, I think he did. Yeah, we have to pay for it. But so, the only people that are supposed to be using that are the people who get the you know, road department to get uniform. But I'm, I think the thing is canceled. And if they want to get uniforms, then we'll go a different way. And they can give them the room superintendent, whatever, give them the credit card to use or provide them with whatever. But I don't know if I want to, to keep that policy going. That's why I actually said that we shouldn't increase that limit because right now it's just too much going on with the credit cards. Again, there's no limit on that either. I don't think there's no limit. Just go in and charge. But you gotta have a purchase so that's what we're okay. So can that's what we're with fifth third with, with with fifth third that credit card, you can put a limit on it, but you can't change the limit, but they don't care if it's a road department, the fire department, or trustees, it's the same limit for everybody on, on all sales. It's not mm -hmm. different cards no. that come out. I can I can adjust them on the fifth third card. Like for instance, at first the battalion chief's card only had Two thousand dollars in it, so there's a single purchase one was seven fifty. Everybody else was fifteen hundred, because they all had four thousand. I can adjust it anytime. Okay. I can adjust that. 
I'm going, I think I can't, I can't do anything with the other. With the other Yeah, because those are done by, I think most of those are synchrony back. So we just have people like going to various stores and you know, opening up accounts. That's what, ha that's what happened, not various people, but I think most of those accounts. If I can remember correctly, I think the Lowe's account and the John Deere was up with my Randy, if I'm not mistaken. But I did sign the paperwork, and I still signed the paperwork for it. But I didn't have any make a decision on who to open up. They had me sign the paperwork. Okay, so to do, and, and I deal with your own company, and I was in there getting stuff for the top of the hill. And uh, I questioned them, and they said, no, you have an account in there, uh, and it's open. So we have a well yard that we have an account with. And because uh, I want to be able to rent, come, come the summertime, we're doing road work. We're going to rent a skid steer, uh, rent a grinder, asphalt grinder, the asphalt grinder, do things to do road work. And we were not financially set yet to buy things. We need to rent for a day or two, get our feet wet, make sure we know what we're doing and how to do this stuff. So there's, there's an account that's open, too. That, I didn't know about to ask him. Well, yeah, you got an account here. Uh, just for me, I've asked Tracy, like, uh, um, if she could kind of name off some of the people we owe as far as credit cards and things. She couldn't because there are so many out there. Seriously? And she, until she gets the bill, she has enough. Yeah, but all of a sudden, I'm like, where did this bill come from? I don't like that at all. Right, and so. It has to be, we have to ensure that when people decide they want to open an account or they have a need, that they first need to talk to the department head. Yes. Because if you have all these accounts open, who's to say that another person is not going and opening up an account at the same location where we already have one open? It's just under a different name. Okay, now that you say that, I remember Brady asked me about opening that loose account up. And I said, yes, back in that day, he was the only one that was going to use it, and I trusted him. Right. And he was going to do it. Well, he's left, and that card's been passed around. Right, right. So, well, I you know what happened was somebody came in and got, uh, I know who came in. That's the administrator. The administrator came in and got all the road departments, each employee card. And I think that's when he got the right of card. Wilcox already had a card. Um, so and he had a car too. Uh, I had one time, and then Adrian even had a car. Credit uh, or Lowe's? Lowe's. No, no, wrong. Uh, so I can't, I can't see why the township wouldn't just be over all of it. So if we have a Lowe's car, Jefferson Township has the Lowe's car, and then at least we'll have a grasp on it. It's not the fire department has the Lowe's car. The road department has a Lowe's car. We have a Lowe's car with a limit on it. Instead of having three different Lowe's cars. So do we want to set up that the East Department has one person that can hold on that car? Or do you want Tracy to hold on all time? And if I want to go make a purchase, Tracy, I need the car. Use it I don't and know give, if that would be back. too much for Tracy. Um, honestly, um, I think that you know if, if we know that there's a purchase, like, Say the water, you all need the water, and you know you do the water every year, right? Mm -hmm. So if you know you're going to do the water, you just already in advance say, hey, Tracy, on this day we're going to come in and get this car, um, or can you authorize, call up there and tell them we're coming to get the skin of water or something well, other than have all these. The problem there. is if you do a purchase, then you know you're going to need a car, right? It's okay. only that, to me, the credit card should only be an emergency. It's going to be an emergency, really. I mean, if you can't, if you, because you got to write a purchase order in, in the end, even if it's an emergency. For the, for so, then you like the idea, and I'm not saying it's bad, but we're just talking. Like the idea that we have a, a, back to accounts in different places where they can, they got my things. So, if we use a, a credit card for emergencies only, then day to day operations, we need to be able to go to different places and buy our daily stuff. There's going to be times where well, there's going to be times when people won't take it if they let a credit card be ordered from the phone. That's what I consider an emergency too. You can't you can't use anything but a credit. They won't take the check. Correct. They won't. Um, they gotta have the credit card. 
That's one of the things that will be an emergency. It doesn't sound like an emergency, but it is because you need it, you want to order, you can order it that way, so you got to have a credit. But I'm saying, otherwise, you got to do a purchase order. Either way, you got to do a purchase order. Yes, sir. So if you, pour, you use the water example, you know you're going to buy that water, you got to write a purchase order for that. Okay. At that time, when you go purchase it, you get the credit. So we need or, to or, if you know what the amount is, I can write a check, but it takes a little bit longer because you guys got to still sign it. Right. I mean, it could come down. That is not something, the water is not mm -hmm. something they couldn't write. That's a, probably a bad example, but that's something you couldn't write a check and take it up to them and they would give you the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just, I, I think that um, we definitely need to get a handle on all these credit cards. It's, it's a lot. Well, the state doesn't, they frown on they, they make it hard for us to use credit cards anymore. Okay. The, the Linda. Okay. Can I make this? Can I make a comment here? Yes. Is that permitted? Dealing with listening to you talk about your credit cards and would it be possible, just a thought, to go to like you're talking about needing equipment to rent? If you went to a specific place, and I'm just going to use the example, if you went to Brookville Rental, okay, and you did a PO, a blanket PO at Brookville Rental. My guys can have up to $1,000 in rentals. <coughs> and you went to the places that you <coughs> want them to go to, not my brother-in-law's <coughs> store down the road, but places, and you had your POs in place. And your road department knows if they need a tool rental, they go to Brookville Rental. They don't go to Pickwood. They don't go to Dayton Rental. Right. You go to here. And then that way, everything that you funnel would be the places that you have already pre-picked for them to go, and that would be the only places they would go, yes. and those would be the only bill, the only companies that you would be dealing with. Only certain names would be allowed to do that. Exactly. Right. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Just to set that up, and credit cards would have to do a week and sign the credit card out, Tracy. I mean, just, I know it's more work on you than I've had like a lead now. And they wouldn't even have to have a credit card. Right? Just credit cards are for emergency only, and if they need them, they would have to come to you and get them up and sign them out. But I don't see the use of them. We need to stop using them. I can't. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When we go sign those checks, there's a lot of different <laughs> charges for a lot of different places. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I just want to talk about that. Thanks. Uh, the next one would be. Yes, go ahead. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, you guys have to count with us. And if you bring a fire truck or a truck in, we call you and say, uh, Mr. Smith, you're going to need a uh, kingpin to one of your big trucks or a spring broke in the back, like we did springs in one of the ambulances. But you don't bring them to us. You don't bring them to us. We do the work, but it comes to the city right then, city right marks it up. But you guys have a contract with us. You guys have to count with us. Okay. Well, we do. Yes, ma'am. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> ma'am, I said, well, you know oh, I'm, I, I told him, I said, I'm going to go talk to him about this. You know, they got to count with us. So well, that's, that's what we're doing. I mean, so. So you, you take on. And who, 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 who? Acme Spring. Acme Spring. Acme Spring. Acme Spring. Yeah. And they're over 100 years now. And we do the city grind work because they can't do suspension work. But they send but if they find a suspension mark when we send to a city garage, then they send that to us at the okay. spring. We then they, then so they mark then, it up. Yeah, and then I do all the electrical form. I do the ambulances and stuff. Okay. And okay. When they have shorts and fire and stuff like that. Okay. But, but the city garage sit you send this stuff to the city garage and then they send it to us. Well, wow. so. okay, okay, just take them out of the loop and send them straight to you. Yeah, since we don't have to count on certain things. Right, right. since we, we do most stuff. Yeah. We do breaks and all that. But anyway, what I'm saying is, it goes through the county garage. And then the county garage sends it to us. Yeah, because well, we've been going out of the places outside of that, so <laughs> I think that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Okay, so the next one is the paving project in Birdland. Oh, 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 oh. So, are we gonna, so our decision is to, well, 
Basically, is that what we talked about? I think they changed it. You guys write a resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, right now, are we thinking about, are we thinking about, I'm not saying we're voting on that. Right. That was, what was the kind of idea? Are we going to do anything? Is this another day? Another day discussion? We just no, no. I mean, a vote as far as voting. I personally lean on, you know, going with uh, sort of what Linda talked about. And that way we don't have credit cards on the place. Okay, so I know that my, 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 what I use was do it the self front. We have an account there. We have an account in Iraqi Spring. How many other places yeah. do we have? Yes. Can we set accounts with that so we can use? You, how can we find out all this? Because I can give you this and this. Like, that's what a lot of people are asking me. We got tons in the UAN. I got 100, 200 pages of, of uh, vendors in the UAN. Yeah. That has been cleaned up. It needs to be cleaned up. I said it not a long time ago, uh, a few years ago. Um, got a few cleanups from uh, the fire department, but not a lot was taken out. That it's a long list, and well, can we can we get the list together? Yeah. And then um, we can schedule a meeting and kind of go down the list and see what we're using, what we can consolidate, what we're not using. Because when we sign those, those checks, there's so many. And so, what, um, can you give me that list of vendors off the UAM? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get an electronic copy because it's fine. Copy, right? Well, do that, and then I, I'll go down through there, and I mean, I, we don't need 5,000 vendors. We, you know, pick, go down through there and start calling them. And we still have an account with you. Are we in good standing with you? Can we use this? And what names do you have on this account? And whose name do you Is it still today? open? Huh? Is it still open? Correct. Right. I think we need to do that between now and the next meeting. Let's do that. Oh, well, I can do that. <coughs> See, I have a 1099 that will show you all the vendors we used last year, for instance. Okay. I've done it for, I didn't do them yet this year. Um, as in last year, as in 2020. 21, 21. Oh, so these. I will give you the one. I haven't done the one for 21. Yeah, but you had to go for 20. Okay, so. I mean, but it's there. I can print it out. I just haven't done the 1099. Um, that takes some or time. Or you can just show me. I mean, I was messing around in there. Um, you can just show me how to pull it up. And, and then. Uh, That's a good place to start. And then, then that way we could uh, just so start looking at it. Okay. So, are we done with credit cards? I think so. I just wanted to know what, what came out of that. So that's the that's your issue I have. We discussed stuff. Yeah, we don't, we don't do we anything. Just go on. And then three minutes down the road, we're back at it again. Well, we've had several the credit cards we discussed with a couple different meetings anyway. Right. So. Yeah, the last one I had was no, no here. It was back in November. I had pulled out my copy. Um, and said it was uh, uh, December 7th meeting that we discussed. Well, we were going to discuss it. I think that so, we sent an email out, but we never did. In the short term, though, I think credit cards would be for emergency use only. Um, you you said we're going to get one of these anyway, so that's kind of that's kind of the limit. Right, anyway. but, and we're going to have to have another one for this IT stuff that we got to get to a full on night. Right. So we'll have two because we got to we got to put all those licenses in there. Do you have that on the list of stuff? No. No, no, it's not because we were just talking to the gentleman today. Yeah, but but uh, Sheila and I have been talking. We got the list from Brian Peters, and there's stuff that they took their stuff off. There's only two or three things on there we got to get on the new credit card right away. The other ones we just got to, because of us are the 23, 24, 25, right. we just got to get our names changed on and get them a card. Um, so we got to get a credit card available to pay for the, to put it on, like for instance, the uh, Office 360? 365. Right. So they do an automatic, they do an automatic payment withdrawal on that. Yeah, we yeah. Gotta, we, they were yes. charging us, they were charging Buckeye, and we gotta Buckeye do that was that charging us. And we got to, yeah. yeah. So yeah. when we get with the new vendor, then we'll already have it set up on a credit card. 
well, we can just go ahead and we build versus them charging the IT. And go daddy, yeah. go daddy, and yes. they renew. Because yes. we're going to lose our internet for that so and the SSL we, license. Before you had, uh, you, we, we had a, a master account. But you, you had, a, you had uh, the township trustees, we had a car, the fire department had a car, the road department had a car, and all that before. So you want to make this one? You want to make this one of the cards, the one that's that it's just strictly used oh, for yeah, office. Said, I have one that oh, it's just sitting there suspended. It's, it, it, it said office. admin. I said admin on it, so I got one okay. sitting there said admin. Okay, I what, never. I just suspended it. <laughs> I never got rid of the codes of that because 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 there were problems with well, that. I, what I'm getting at, Sheila, is is a card that we're using for these. Regular payments like this need to be needs to be a card by itself, and you're expecting right. this every month, and whatever. Right. Right. That right. needs to be a separate card by itself, nothing else. Right. And that's not given to somebody else to use. And that's right. what I said, and, and she she was suggesting that I, I hold on to it because okay. nobody yeah. needs to have it. Nobody right. needs to have it. Right. Okay. Because it's for that purpose only. Okay. okay. So now we're. Uh, one more thing. Yes. What about Training like online training. Do we just pay for that ourselves or not? Because that was my concern. I never was ever online. Online. Like I take a lot of online training for physical officers, you know, OTA and stuff like that. And those trainings you would take credit cards, so then I I usually put online and get reimbursed. Is that the only? You know, that's the only one that does. Can no, do other people can do it too. Just I I pay. Especially since the last year we had COVID, and, you know, everybody does stuff online. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it used to be we needed a credit card if we had, because um, we couldn't get tax exempt. But then it didn't happen this year like that. I think you got those tax exempt, but they didn't ask you. That sounds like going forward and getting a credit card again with different names on it then. And maybe you want, need one for the fiscal officer. Well, one for the auditor, and one for admin, one for the buyer. Uh, you might not. You just probably need a card that when something that happens, they have to give somebody to use it. I mean, uh, get access. Does the fire department do any online training? Some of the people do, yes. Okay. Is there <coughs> any training for the road department? Yeah. But your online training, you usually can get billed for, right? Most of the online training does not cost us anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh. Before us, it cost like $20 that number, well, OTA, $20, $20 that So can you, can you pay it and just do the reimbursement well, versus yeah, have a credit that. card? Yeah, I could do that. That would seem uh, like it'd be a I still have to use my credit card and then be right. reimbursed, yeah. Yeah. But I just thought for other people who couldn't do that. Right, you right. might need a card right. for that. Well, uh, since theirs is free, they don't do anything on, online and um, for the trustees, if we decide to do it, we'll just have to go with the same process. 